when we talk about the impact of size on uh, capital value and the impact of size on rental, we always come back to this thing called shoe boxes. I don't know how many of you love Mickey Mouse because many of the people who actually bought shoe boxes are living like a mouse, right? So that's why it's called Mickey Mouse uh, Apartments. Now, generally speaking, what we have done is this. Uh, I requested from SRX data is we want to compare and see what are the shoe boxes, how their performances in Singapore. Uh, 2012 alone, more than 2,400 units, which is approximately 10% of the total transaction last year, um, were sold as shoe boxes. Shoe boxes, the definition is something that's below 50 square meters, 50. Okay, so you work it out in per square foot, uh, in square feet is actually 538. Uh, okay, so what, then what we have done is uh, we see how the performances of shoe boxes in the past 10 years. Okay, uh, we did, my measurement is very simple. We look at the most active region, right? most active period, just last year alone. Then see what are, the, what are the numbers that comes up. And because of the fact that it is so low, we don't need to drill down into location. We just check out the whole, whole Singapore region. Then we measure it against uh, OCR which is outside core central versus the rest of core central and core central itself, which is the following slide. Maybe we go on to the next slide. Ah, now this slide basically tell you, when you go to core central, you buy a shoe box, you have to pay on per square foot level. You have to pay 18.71% more, okay? And rest of core central, you pay 10% more, which is not that bad, huh? You pay for a little bit of a premium. But outside core central is catching up very fast. In fact, last year, the, the, the bulk of the transactions, more than half of it are actually shoe boxes and they are in the outside core central region. And easy to sell, no? yes. easy, huh? Huh? easy to resell. No? <laughs> hey? well, got silence. So what silence was the conclusion? The conclusion, the conclusion was easy to sell, more difficult to resell. Easy to buy. Easy to buy. Ah, easy but to sell, no? ah, we have to depend on all the professionals here. Next, what we have done is we measure, you buy, the person who buys a shoe box, what do they want to do? Do they want to stay in like a mouse? Or they want to rent it out? What do they want to do? If you buy shoe box, are you going to stay in with your, like for me, my wife, three girls, are we going to stay and squeeze on? How to sleep, stack on top of each other? I also don't know, okay? So this is generally how a consideration, is it a family home? So usually, if it's not a family home, it will be meant for investment. Simple, right? And when you see investment, you will want to see how much rental I can collect based on how much money I put in right now. I think these are all quite fundamentals of property investment. Now. So what we have done is this. Rental. Okay, this is quite interesting. In the core central itself, those who command very high rent, right, core central, you see shoebox rental on a per month basis per square foot versus the non-shoebox. There is already a big premium. You pay almost 50% more already on the per square foot level. But look at what's happening in the outside core central. Remember, you pay 20% more, 18% more, isn't it? Now your renter, they are actually transacting at $6.16. You compare this with rest of core central. Is there a big difference? Not really, huh? But you look at those that are non shoebox, the premium is almost 80% more per square foot. Which means what? A person who goes to OCR, that means outside call central, I rent, okay? I have to pay very close to the rest of call central. And in fact, I top out another dollar, I can actually go to central, you know? Okay, which is where the activities are. Huh? Now, once you see that, that means they are charging that kind of renter. I will explain to you why it's charging $6.16, because of a huge lack of supply, okay? Very, very little transactions. So once you see that, let's look at rental you. Now, you see outside call central, you look at it, rental you, good or no good? If your client sit down with you, you go through the numbers, you present to him, this unit 5.84%, good or no good? Good, right? Should buy or not? For on paper, it looks very good. How many, give, how many properties out there gives you 5.84% uh, in terms of rental yield today, residential? All right, we don't talk about commercial and industrial. Okay? So on paper, it looks very good, right? Uh? Mm. So the next question is, it seems it's so good and the take-up rate is so good, what is my problem? I don't agree with this, you know, I wouldn't buy, right? So let's look at the next next slide. What I've actually done with the help of the uh, data provider, uh, SRX, we pull out those that are under 500 over square feet, anything above one kilometer from the MRT, right? So this is up and coming, uh, up and coming, okay? 
because these are all under construction in the OCR. This is basically supply that's coming into the market. Who are the demand? Who are the people typically renting studio apartments? Besides Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Who are the people? What's the profile? What's the tenant profile like? Studio apartment. Single? Two percent? Three percent? Four? Five stack on top of each other. Eh? Then one two, yeah? One two. Either a single. And what's their profile? Are they Singaporean? Expatriates? Where do they work? If you are single, you are expatriate and you work in town, will you rent all this? Will you rent this project? Let's take. Uh, remember, uh, this one analysis, uh, nothing to do with the developer of project. In case the developer don't meet me after this. Okay? Nothing to do with the developer. Let's take as an example this one. Okay? Or this one. This town, uh, quite far north of Singapore. Okay? You have to pass a reservoir, then you reach issue in there. Now, if you are single, okay, expatriate, work in town, will you go and rent issue? If you are the tenant, if you are representing the tenant such a profile, will you go and tell him, uh, issue, issue, got, got, got uh, studio apartment, uh, let's go. Will you do that? No. This is the danger point I want to raise when, although on paper, remember the rental yield looks very good? Although on paper, the rental yield looks very good. But the very fact is the person who buys, they want to invest and they want to rent it out, right? Where is the demand coming from? That is my question. Okay? And this demand and supply to me, I am not alone in this. Let's look at what URA says. Uh, we have 2,400 units at the end of 2011. It will be times four very soon, end of 2015. This trend has raised some concern, especially in suburban area, which is your OCR right now. Now, where the demand for shoebox units remain, remain what? Untested. And this is also verbalized and mentioned in our minister's blog. Now, demand for shoeboxes remain untested. Huh? And there are others who are concerned that shoebox units do not meet the needs of largest household and are not conducive for couples to have children. Remember, we want to grow to 6.9 million. They want you to have lots and lots of babies. Okay? So don't buy studio apartment. That's the message to say. Right? A large concentration of such development can strain the local road infrastructure as the number of housing ends up much higher than what was originally planned for. Okay? That means we plan to build 10 units, now become 30 units. Got problem or not? Infrastructure-wise, obviously, huh? that's a big, that forms a big problem. Strain on infrastructure. So, although on one hand, we see that it presents itself on paper, looks like good, good investment, 5.84% rental yield. Looks quite good, right? But remember, you pay 18% more to get your 5.84. Then, on top of that, if you actually bought, okay, in the outskirts, the test remains where the demand, the tenants are coming from. So, what does it mean to agents? You go in, you want to sell, you want to buy, 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 Okay, today the agent, what the client wants you to do, advice. He wants you to give him good advice, isn't it? So that you help him make an informed decision. If not, you'll be informed to go for coffee and CEA, right? So what is informed decision? Basically, you lay out all the facts to him. If he still choose to go for the OCR studio apartments, okay, then so be it. At least, have you done your job? No. Yes, we cannot say for sure that studio apartment will be gone. I'm not saying that. Okay, in fact, I think it's here to stay. The thing is, does it present a good investment choice? In CCR, RCR, I think you can still go for it if you like to. But OCR, if your client choose to stay away, that's my final point. Thank you.